The transcendent challenge of the 21st century is the challenge of radical Islamic extremism. Uh, this challenge will be with us for a long, long time. It's manifested in many different ways from the traditional views we had of what a radical Islamic extremist is, an impoverished young man standing on a street corner in Islamabad with no hope, no uh, job, and no future, is taken into a madras, sometimes paid for by Saudis, and becomes a suicide bomber. If, if not too long after 9-11 that we'd have been discussing doctors who become suicide bombers in Scotland and want to destroy the Glasgow airport, we would have thought that's an unlikely scenario. But the fact is, the fact is that everywhere in the world, thanks to cyberspace, thanks to the business you're in, you're seeing the spread of this radical Islamic extremism in a very dangerous way. And I have to give you a little straight talk. I believe that if not winning, they're certainly taking advantage of cyberspace in a way which we are going to have to do a lot better job in countering the spread of this evil that wants to destroy everything we stand for and believe in. So um, our challenge in the 21st century against this radical Islamic extremism. You notice I avoid the phrase war on terror, but it is a struggle between good and evil. And I believe it's military, it's intelligence, it's diplomatic, but it's also a psychological hearts and minds challenge at the end of the day. And your business is the business that will give us the tools and the ability to get our message about the fundamental belief that we all hold that all people are created equal and endowed with certain inalienable rights.